Welcome back to Concept Cars, as we now look in exclusive detail at a futuristic concept that, from a distance, has all the trademarks of the parent company, Volvo. But as you get closer, you'll see all sorts of clever designs that make this a world apart from their staid designs of the past. It's true that Volvo has, in the past, been famous for its square and boxy estates, but this is certainly a turn for the better. Plus, something else different about this concept is that it's been designed by an all-woman team. Hmm, this smacks of a little marketing gimmick by Volvo, doesn't it? It's, it's by women, and uh, that's because we, we wanted to see what would happen if we had women in the decision-making uh, positions, and also to prioritize. Our car is great because it, it combines things that haven't been, hasn't been combined before. So we have, we have a sporty coupe, a really emotional vehicle, you know, it's an animal. But it's also functional because you can store lots of things. We want it to go all the way out with storage. And then also to, that you will sit really good, have good visibility and a good um, ergonomic uh, situation in the car. You feel comfortable in it. It's not too big, it's not too small. And uh, that's what we wanted. But what's the real reason why Volvo decided that a concept car had to be created by an all-woman team? Alarm bells started ringing at Volvo when this bit of astonishing data came into the marketing office. In the USA and Canada, 53% of Volvo buyers are women. However, in Europe, this figure plummets to only 14%. So Volvo decided to design a European car for women, by women. It started in 2001 when we had a, a woman called Marty Valletta, an American woman at Volvo, and she was talking about how to cater better for women's needs, women as a customer. And after that seminar, on the way out, the thought and the idea was born, well, what if we only women made a car? What would that look like? And six months later, we got the chance to present the idea to Hans Olaf Olsson, who is president and CEO of Volvo Cars. And he said, hmm, interesting. Do that or make a feasibility study. So we did, and we got the final OK in December 2002. So we've been working flat out for 14 months. This concept is called the YCC, or Your Concept Car, which may not be a remarkable name, but the interior certainly is. Using high-tech Swedish-style colours and textures which have rip-off, stick-on covers to match your clothes or mood, the YCC looks lovely for drivers and passengers. And practicality touches include hidden storage areas and easy loading features. But what was the designer's initial brief? They said, we want to do a car that is uh, sporty, smart and safe. And they said, can you do a sketch? And I said, sure. And. Um, after that, it all started. The car looks great on the stand at a car show, but we managed to get our cameras behind the scenes of the whole project, and here's how it starts out. Weight distribution is a key factor in the early stages. Carefully placed bean bags on a balanced frame show the designers how best to place each part. So what's going on behind this closed door? And why are they wearing breathing masks? Well, the glues and resins in the atmosphere in this special room are enough to knock out an elephant. So just think about our film crew. Do you know how difficult it is to operate a camera with a breathing mask on? Here, the different fabric types and designs are decided upon, colour matched, and then placed on the wood and polystyrene. But maybe they're being a bit premature. There's an issue with the basic shape of the seats. And you know, Howard, we found there was much discussion over the position of the pedals and the general ergonomics. The team even changed shoes to test out the varying types of footwear. It was really fascinating to see behind the scenes of an all-new car. This may be virtually an all-woman project, but the guys have just got to come in to see the progress on the new gullwing doors. It's just like the DeLorean. Up she rises for the first time. All together now. <laughs> Months later, the shell is showing some shape and so is the revolutionary storage console. The amount of man and woman hours involved in putting a concept car together is incredible. And this particular car isn't just going to be a pretty shell for a show stand. It needs to be a fully working prototype. Well now, we watched the cinema-style seats being installed and piece by piece everything was put on, checked and rechecked. 
The installation of the dash is a tricky process. Remember, this isn't a production line machine, but a unique concept that will cost a million to create. Literally a million pounds. This is not just some tinkering in your garage. Well, we now know what you like to do in your garage at the weekend, Adrian. By the way, I love these shots you got. The time-lapse camera showing the Volvo YCC taking shape from start to finish. And you know, they had to work fast so it could appear at the Geneva show. And here it is on the stand. Here's a clever touch which maybe only a woman in a long dress would appreciate. Getting into a muddy car can be a real pain for keeping your clothes clean. With this concept, however, the door sill rotates as you enter to always present you with a clean side. And when you're inside, through those lovely gullwing doors, the YCC is determined to make you comfortable. Another thing we concentrated on is ergonomics and vision, meaning that you should be able to reach everything and see out through the windscreen and preferably at the same time. So we combine them in something that we call ErgoVision. And what that does is that when you buy your car, you go to a Volvo dealer and you scan your body and your measurements get stored in the key. And then when you dock the key in here, the car recognizes your measurements and recommends a seating position for you that suits your body. So the seat will move, the pedals will move, the steering wheel, the head restraint, and the safety belt to get a recommended, the best seating positions because you have everything within reach and you have a perfect vision. The team at Volvo commissioned studies into how we all use our cars and determined that most car designers have got things wrong in the past. Then we have this thing, that storage. Now storage, 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 storage. Which is not only where do you put your handbag, uh, because most people, most women I know, they put their handbag on the passenger seat and then they have a passenger that will hold it or you put it on the back or you throw it on the floor and the phone rings and it's just really not a good solution. But it's not only that, it's all the other things we carry around. The mobile phones, the keys, the bags with training clothes, all the stuff, the laptops. You know that the most common place to store a mobile phone today is actually in a cup holder. So we thought, hmm, the best place really to store something in the car is between the seat. But that area is normally taken already by a gear shift and a parking brake. So we said, do they have to live there? No. So we shifted them. So we made the parking brake electronic uh, and we put the steering wheel, or the, the gear change in here. This is the gear change on the steering wheel. So what we then got is a fantastic opportunity to storage. So here you have shallow storage for mobile phones, for cups, for whatever. And wow, here you can put a good size handbag and you have it right at the tip of your fingers. Trash, very important. And then you have another storage, deep storage here where you can get, you can put a bag about this size, not a problem. And behind that you have a cool box, which you can reach, reach from the driver's seat, so you just can get your cold drinks from in there. Storage is of key importance in interior design, and that's why the YCC team spent so much time and effort in getting it right in the overall package. Now, where would you put your wallet safely in your car if you really had to leave it there? Under the seat? Glove box? No, think again. This is a locked space. If you put your wallet here and close the door, it doesn't matter how many times they break the glass because they, they won't get those things either. So they really, it's in a safe built into the car. The exterior styling is neat and functional and the rear area isn't painted metal but a soft plastic material. Uh, we wanted to have this uh, rubber-like finish, almost like a, a bumper car, so that you would feel you would feel that the car is not uh, so elegant and so fragile that you're scared of using it. We said, you, you should be able to use this car, have fun with it, and really drive. And uh, especially in Europe, uh, driving situations can be tight, so... And that's why the whole rear end is this bumper material. Now, what do you think of the color of the car? 
And that paint finish is special as well. It's dirt repellent paint as developed for the garbage trucks down the road from me in New York City. Hey, who wants to wash cars, right? Plus, there's no mucking about with fuel filler caps at petrol stations. It has a ball valve, like on racing cars. And they've thought about easy parking, too, with onboard sensors telling you if a space you've passed is big enough to reverse into. The Volvo YCC may have been designed by an all-woman team, but this ain't no cute chick car. Hey, it's not even pink.